ஹாய் ஒரு ஒன் குட் மார்னிங் ஆல் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் எலக்ட்ரிக் வெஹிக்கல் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் இஸ் ஏ ஜென்ரல் எலக்ட்ரிக் வெஹிக்கல் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் இஸ் திஸ் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் மீன்ஸ் த வே யூ அரேஞ்ச் சம் காம்பனன்ஸ் இன் அன் ஆர்டர் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால் ஆஸ் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் ஆர் டெக்னிக்கல் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால் ஆஸ் டாப்பாலஜி லெட்ஸ் ட்ரை டு சீ திஸ் டாப்பாலஜி ஸோ ஹியர் ஐம் ஹேவிங் மேஜர்லி த்ரீ சப் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சப் சிஸ்டம் இஸ் electrical propulsion system so first one i have electrical propulsion so which try to propel it in forward direction or in backward direction first one is electrical propulsion system is the first sub system so after this let's try to draw the different tools i mean different types of components in this electric propulsion system so here we are going to have a vehicle controller and which is this elect vehicle controller is connected to an electric power converter so this is connected to an an electronic power converter so electronic power converter means you can have as an inverter or rectifier as per the requirement so now this is connected to an electric motor which is called an energy converter as already discussed so i have been given an introduction about a power train and driver train and you can see this in the above video so next we are going to have a mechanical transmission block so this is an a mechanical transmission block and now this mechanical transmission block is is like torch cutter so this is connected to the wheels of an electric vehicle so i am drawing only the front wheels why because back wheels are only the support so i'm not much expert in drawing an extraordinary like an expert uh, drawer so basically what is required for our subject in such a way in a clearly i'm able to draw it uh, so here you are going to have two wheels at the front and here you are going to have the wheels and now these wheels are having a mechanical link and this electric motor is connected to this uh, torx cutter so this transmit is also called as a torx splitter which splits the torx so it is having an mechanical link and electrical power converter with respect to the so let's try to draw this uh, connections later so we have an vehicle converter and next you are going to have an energy sub system okay so here you are going to have an energy sub system so this is uh, one kind of system which is nothing but completely comes under electric propulsion system okay so this is completely electric propulsion system so this is a block of this next coming to this uh, next one so here we go we have the next one so now we have an the next block is energy management unit so here we are going to have an energy management unit which manages the energy and here you are going to have an energy source so this is our energy source is nothing but battery and here you are going to have an energy refilling unit okay so here we are having energy refilling unit so all this also comes in one block where this block i am going to call it as a energy source sub system so this is nothing but a energy source sub system so this is energy source sub system block 
the next block you are going to have which is nothing but auxiliary subsystem so in this auxiliary subsystem you are going to have auxiliary power supply and going to have an auxiliary power supply and power steering unit power steering unit and climate i mean uh, climate control mechanism climate controller so these are uh, the next comes under the next sub system so auxiliary power supply and power steering system all these are the three parts and this all also comes under the one more block so all these are included under the auxiliary subsystem so you can see here all this comes under auxiliary subsystem so now successfully we have been uh, drawn the electrical propulsion subsystem which is the first one and second one is energy source subsystem and third one which is nothing but uh, auxiliary power system now let's try to give the connection so here so this is also one block this is also one block and this is also one block and now we have to give the connections to each individual block so vehicle controller and energy management system has an connection which is nothing but uh, a control link so here we are going to have three links so two links if you have this is called as a, a mechanical link if you have a single link then it is called control link so this is only control link if you have an darkened line then it is called as a, a electrical link okay so that in order to make you to understand i am trying to drawing it in red color so the electrical link i am going to draw in an dark i mean uh, a stronger line which is a thick line which is nothing but this red color is indicates uh, we have an connection of uh, electric link so now let's try to connect uh, all these blocks one by one so power converter is there to the motor we need to connect uh, and now we are connecting it and here we have an uh, connection between the electric motor as well as uh, the power converter and from the power converter to energy source also we have an link which is established so we have an link like this so this is also an electrical link so electrical links i am showing in red color to understand more so this is a one electrical link and here energy source to the auxiliary also you have an link so this is to the auxiliary source and energy refilling so energy refilling means you may use the charger therefore you also here also you require an link which is required and then to this auxiliary power supply also you have an link to the control i mean uh, climate control link which is also an electric link and here also you have an link to the power steering so all this red color what i indicated are indicates that uh, they have an electrical link there and now coming to the concept so here you may have here you are going to have an steering okay so this is uh, we have the steering so this is nothing but our steering wheel to give the throttle so this is a uh, steering wheel okay so this is connected to this one okay so now and this energy management and refilling are also having which link control link now let's try to see this uh, diagram so to this vehicle controller we are going to give two inputs that first one is nothing but uh, so you can see the practically you can have an this nothing but uh, brake is one input and the next input is nothing but accelerator how you accelerate it so actually these two will be here but for more clarity all i am showing at one point so 
this is line accelerator where you can when you press this accelerator automatically the vehicle start accelerating and move forward okay now you can see here now what is the so how many parts are there so this vehicle controller you can see here the ultimate target we need to propel this if you want to propel this what you require you require an motor so in order to propel the motor what you require you require an conversion so why because here dc is available here also i require dc but here i require an dc to dc converter as per the requirement of uh, voltage of the motor so i am converting dc by using a dc to dc converter and the dc to dc converter is nothing but a power converter so here i have the battery so this is the battery how so now how the power flows goes is so by using an charger or by using a rectifier we are going to make our battery full and the battery is giving an electrical input to the power converter as dc form and is converting into an dc to dc output which of a higher voltage as per the requirement of the motor then automatically your vehicle starts properly okay that's the concept so but here you have an uh, refilling unit it may be like uh, charging and battery it may be and so this refilling may be of uh, two types one is on board charger another one is a uh, off board charger so within the vehicle only if you have then it is called as a uh, on board charger if you charge from by using an external charger then it's called as a uh, off board charger so in all this you require an auxiliary sub system uh, so you, we need to give the power to the power steering and ac automatic on and off all this require electrical that's why from this power source we connected to an auxiliary power supply from this auxiliary power supply it is con connected to the power steering unit as well as climate unit and you can see here the power the red color wherever this drawn shows that uh, here only the electricity flows okay the remaining or like a mechanical so here also to fill you have an uh, charger so this is nothing but a uh, off board charger so here you have an off board charger the purpose of this charger i think you already know it we need to convert that uh, ac to dc which is nothing but this charger is nothing but an rectifier so this is how we have been understanding different parts so what is let's try to discuss each individual part okay so sometimes this is how the operation is sometimes what happen is so this is in forward direction so whenever you are operating in negative slope when you are coming from like this when you are coming from tirumula to tirupati i think you know about this uh, tirumula so which is like a hill station this nothing but tirupati which is a ground station when you are traveling we have we need to have a negative slope negative acceleration and negative velocity so now this which was acting like a motor this will try to act like a generator so the wheels are freely rotate rotating uh, whenever the wheels are freely rotating which was the rotor will try to act like an permanent magnet and from permanent magnet an emf is generated the generated emf come to the torque is available in the form of an elect i mean elect i mean mechanical input is available to the motor therefore automatically this motor will try to act like a generator and power is generated and the power flows in this direction this is how the network is flowing in each individual direction so now here you have energy management unit so when you accelerate the brake this acceleration will be taken by vehicle controller so this vehicle controller operates based upon the signal given by the brake or the accelerator so if you accelerate it more the vehicle will give the signal to the energy management and vehicle controller will give the signal to the power converter such a way that this can take uh, this the vehicle gets charged in faster rate and it can more battery will be available at the source in such a way that it can pump the required voltage to the power converter then the vehicle will try to move in forward direction so when you apply the brake when you apply the brake the vehicle controller is directly connected to the energy management system and the battery will not charge and now and the when you apply the brake it undergoes to the regenerative braking and which was acting like a previous like a motor it will try to act like an generator and power flows in this direction and now the battery is getting charged in regenerative mode of operation and what is the one more purpose of this vehicle control is it's provide a control signal to the power converter okay so when to when this power converter has to efficiently conform act like an uh, dc to dc conversion or dc to ac which is nothing but uh, how to act like an chopper 
or how to act like an inverter that information will be given by this uh, vehicle controller so it may change why because here it is dc and here also you require dc okay so now dc to dc you require a chopper so the chopping action will take place. but sometimes the motor may change then sometimes it also has to act like an inverter why because uh, the, depending upon the type of manufacturer so they use a dc motor then this configuration is suitable if they use ac motor this also actually act like an inverter so it depends upon their application if you use a permanent magnet synchronous motor again you require an uh, dc supply only so like this so the things are changing automatically this power and converter has to change as per the concept and so what is the purpose of this uh, energy management unit uh, this controls the refilling okay so how much amount of energy has to be filled to the battery and so this take cares about uh, the health of the battery so this take cares about the health of the battery so at how much percentage it has to fill the battery or what is the state of charging is really charging required or not or not so that information will be given to energy refilling unit and it controls how much energy has to be pumped into the battery to take care about the health of an battery that's why this is called battery management system or energy management unit so now uh, we have a power steering and power steering also requires an electrical so that's why this red color supply is there or i mean this red color arrow shows that there an electrical link is there so this power steering also operate with electrical base and this power is supplied by the auxiliary power source and we have a climate control within the vehicle where this climate control is nothing but uh, automatic ac on and off automatic uh, heat on and off so that's called climate control this also requires electrical supply that's why the power is given through auxiliary power supply the power to the power windows or power steering is already given by this red color so this is how each individual components uh, operate so we are here we are showing only one energy source but there may be multiple energy source like you may have an uh, ultra capacitor as a second energy source and third you may have an uh, flywheel also or this also may be integrated or this also may be like an hybrid you may have an uh, battery or you may have an ultra capacitor or you may have an flywheel or this energy source is designed to accept uh, regenerative braking also okay so sometimes it has to act like an battery and sometimes it has to accept the charging from regenerating mode also so in all the ways this ev configuration plays an major role so that's how we are showing so let's try to have a uh, small uh, revision of this concept it's very simple so you have three types of uh, subsystems one is electrical propulsion system next one is energy storage subsystem next one is uh, auxiliary subsystem all these uh, are the three subsystems uh, which are available to us uh, you can see here all this red color what we are showing is nothing but electrical connection very simple to understand so first you have to fill the fuel it has to go to the energy refilling unit from energy refilling unit it has to go to the battery from battery it has to go to the electronic power converter to supply the required voltage to the motor it may be an ac motor or dc motor and this motor is directly propels which produce the mechanical power and from this mechanical power it has rotated the wheel so this is one way of uh, power flow so from here to here now next mode of operation is so this wheels will try to act like an uh, a mechanical input uh, when they are traveling with uh, negative slope uh, this automatically this motor will try to act like a generator and the power flows uh, in this direction it flows this motor act like a generator and power is generated by the generator it goes to the power converter and ultimately it reaches the charging of a battery where this mode is called as a regenerative mode and when to charge or when to fill the fuel in the battery that is taken care by energy management system but generally we call this as a battery management system this also plays a crucial role uh, to control or to have how much what is the voltage level of the battery what is the temperature in the battery and when to charge or when to discharge or uh, sorry when to charge at which time to charge what kind of uh, charging it may be slow charging or fast charging all are taken care by these two components battery management unit and uh, energy management unit and this energy management unit has a control link with the vehicle controller the vehicle controller is completely controlled by acceleration as well as the brake the more you accelerate the command will be given to the power converter automatically this can uh, take the required power and vehicle will try to propel with the required speed
hope you are able to understand this content in a very simplified fashion so this is very 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 important question in this jnt university explain about general electric vehicle configuration or we can call this as topology or you can call it some arrangement you can see here this is like a block diagram arrangement of different components and different uh, in proper structure that's why this is called configuration or topology if you feel the video is uh, useful please try to promote this channel and make everyone to subscribe this channel so if you feel the video is useful please like share and subscribe to channel kv tulasi so hope uh, your valuable feedback and if you have any doubts just let me know in the comments i can respond in my free time so hope the video is uh, useful to you if you have any doubts or any clarification please uh, comment in the comment section such a way that uh, i can answer you so please try to encourage the channel so which helps the poor students to study and which help many other to gain the knowledge yeah, those are unable to gain the knowledge so thank you for watching so viewers obediently wrong thank you